Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up, what up? Manners and respect man. And your girl, Debbie from Dogaya. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome to the Jamaican cooking journey. Old and new subscribers, manners and respect once more. Thank you, thank you so much. Now today we are doing things, we're taking a little twist, yeah? Today we are going on to a little sweet treat. Some sweet treat. It is the Jamaican gizada, or they call it pinch me rum. And this one is from me to the kids. It's for the kids. Okay, y'all? I'm going to show you. It's, it's, it, it, it is a, a treat. It is a sweet treat. It's prepared with pastry and a filling. I'm going to show you how you go about it and I'm going to show you even though it's I say it's for the kids it's a treat that adults are like and sometimes I think they're not adults they're not more than they're not so I'm going to show you how you can do it and you can involve your children okay it carries a filling and a a pastry case it carries a pastry part made as a case and there's a filling and it's baked now we'll get right in for this sweet treat you are gonna need some freshly grated coconut eh? freshly grated coconut and those of you who don't want I know everybody is trying to run from the authentic the old time everything I guess I think I'm not sure if you can get your your great I think you can get grated coconut in your supermarket and if you can you would want to as you get it that should be kept in the refrigerated area as soon as you get it you got to come put it in your fridge until you're ready to use it or if not you're gonna use it same time because coconut um, goes bad easily okay so you're gonna need some freshly grated coconut and please it's a nice nice little treat some people tend to when you them juice the coconut to make them rice and peas and the trash left no matter for all we get that when we their country are grown do not remove the juice from, do not extract the juice from the coconut it won't have any flavor okay so for this you're gonna need some freshly grated coconut and I link for you the amount because you doesn't you don't need a specific amount okay if you want to make a dozen I'll probably show you tell you how much to make a dozen because you can make it at any size as you go along but I'll just tell you the proportion of the sugar to the amount of coconut grated coconut and the amount of um flour sorry butter to the flour now you're gonna need some brown sugar so me add four cup of grated coconut i mean i gonna put about that of sugar but i'll tell you how much goes with some sugar and please hello don't tell me about la debbie diabetes excuse me please hello diabetes is not something where does come that you eat a little gizzard and now here and there that's not how we get diabetes diabetes is a long period of you know you practice to eat sweet things every single day and in large amounts over a period of time that's how we get diabetes a little gizzard here a little piece of a little sweet here and there come on it doesn't give us diabetes because sometimes we have a little sweet tooth and you know and so we're gonna need to flavor up this thing so we're gonna put in some vanilla not too much to make it too wet mm -hmm. we i should have had some of that um yellow almond but I don't. I'm gonna put in, I have to go a little bit over with the nutmeg because it need a little more. Cause you know me not going off with the nutmeg and I'm still yet to give it the story. So I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of nutmeg. That is about a teaspoon. I'm gonna put in almost at, about a tablespoon of cinnamon and I'm gonna put in probably half of a teaspoon of mixed spice and don't worry yourself they may have a i'm gonna bring it to the place where you can measure where you can just pour out your thing and when they say how much and when they when they start to make oh you know it and you say okay this is about a teaspoon and when they come and really measure it is a teaspoon because you know what you're doing okay we're gonna need now to get the sugar and the coconut the grated coconut incorporated you have to incorporate it until all the sugar granules are this all. so you're gonna do this huh 
and leave it because it is going to take a time. It has to stay there until the grated coconut is moist. The sugar has to be in it until the, the moistness from the, 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 the grated coconut dissolves every single granule in that sugar. So we are going to put it one side. This is how you do it. You got to leave it when you do it like this for probably another half an hour. When you come back, I'll show you what it looks like. So now we are going to move on to the pastry part. So, you know, we have eight types of pastry and I'm not sure if I can remember. This is not, this is more like a plain pastry, but or is that a plain pastry or a puff pastry? Yes, but I'm not going to work it to bring it. The ingredients are of that of puff pastry, but I'm not going to work the dough to bring it to the puff pastry level. Eh? You know, we have eight types of pastry. I think we have, you have puff, you have rough puff, you have filler, sweat, gourmet, um, short cross. Come on, girl, can you help me? Filler. And we have one more, I don't remember. Eight pastry. You check it out and please help me all. We have eight different types of pastry. So now we're going to cut in some the, sh the flour. My flour is coming out the, out the fridge. Everything must be cold. Flour, cold, butter. So I'm going to cut in this butter. And we have like about a pound of flour. The butter is not fully cold, but it's cool. Eh? And we're going to put enough butter. Because this thing, the case of it, must, all, must, have like, must be like when the, when, the, when the pastry is finished pastry part it must almost have the color of the butter so you have got to put in this is like almost a pound of flour we're using half part of flour so it would be this is almost half a pound of butter but the flour is still not a pound so we're there we're there so we're going to put in like this because the butter some people doing it then put all kind of something in it for flour but listen to me you put enough butter to give the, the, the flour its flavor, its color. So now, no baking powder is needed, no salt, because this butter here is salty. Not fully salt, but it has salt in there. So we're gonna incorporate the flour, the butter. Am I tired? Not sure. We're gonna work it like this. Right in front of your eyes. We're gonna work the butter right through the flour and i'm gonna work it i'm not gonna cut it i'm not gonna edit out anything because i want you to see what it looks like so you're gonna work it remember it must be cool your flour must be cool at room temperature not room temperature it must be cool so i keep my flour in my fridge so this is pretty cool and you're to use ice cold water to bring this dough together cold butter cool or cold flour and ice cold water to bring the dough together eh? look at the color of it you see the yellow color that the butter is giving it already this is how you get the color of the pastry part of this thing and you might not some of you might not understand what i'm doing right now because you're not familiar with this treat but most are if not all jamaicans they are very much familiar they know it well so but the thing is some people might not know it's prepared maybe it's the first day i've seen it prepared so you work all this butter through so now this is ice cold water y'all just a little at a time because the amount of butter that will work inside that flour this this mixture here is moist so you don't need a lot of water just a small amount and it's ice cold water so look at it you're trying to bring it together because we're not going to work this dough too much you know eh? just a little at a time right in have you seen what um do you see what i'm talking about you see the yellowness that we, the dough has acquired yes you gotta put in the butter to let the dough acquire this color and it is the butter for all of you all out there who are putting curry and egg powder this is what you use to acquire the dough the color of the dough eh? so this dough maybe no one no more water we're going to try to get it together hmm? we're getting this dough together yep 
no more water because we're gonna leave this dough to chill you're gonna get it because it's more it, you're gonna work right through with it all chill it must be well well chilled to work through eh? no you don't need a lot of kneading we're not gonna need that's why i say we just use the ingredients for the puff pastry because this is what you'd use for puff pastry but you'd have to work it consistently overlapping and all of that yeah this is the gizada dough now we're gonna cover it or wrap it with some of our clean plastic serum whatever you want to call it and we're gonna leave it in the refrigerator or if you want to work fast you can rest it in the freezer for 15 minutes if you're leaving it in the refrigerator it would be have to be about half an hour 45 in the freezer for about 15 minutes i want to work fast i'm going to rest this in my freezer so when we return in the next section that will come together the filling and you see what it looks like our dough will be properly chilled and we're going to proceed to put these treats pastry and filling together 